Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online educational channel. Today in our video, we are going to discuss the importance of building trust and leadership. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. First of all, and although both leadership and management are needed in the modern workplace, but we should know that they are not the same thing. So in order to be a good leader and a good manager, one must know the difference between the two concepts. We know that leadership and management are two distinctive and complementary systems of action. For example, management is about coping with complexity, whereas leadership is about coping with change. When we talk about management, it's about planning and budgeting for complexity, whereas leadership is about setting the direction for change through creating a vision. At the same time, management develops the capacity to carry out plans through organizing and staffing, whereas leadership aligns people to work toward that vision. Management also ensures the accomplishment of plans through controlling and problem solving, whereas leadership motivates and inspires people to want to accomplish the plan. But here we have an important element that we should take into consideration, which is trust. Trust is a necessary ingredient for success in the competitive modern workplace. But the question here is how to build trust? Because we know that building trust may require leadership on the part of managers. So now we are going to explain the different strategy to build trust and leadership. First, taking the blame but sharing the credit. Managers who point the finger of blame at their employees, even when the employees are at fault. We should not build trust. Leaders must be willing to accept the responsibility for the performance of people they hope to lead. So here, when the credit is due, the leaders must be prepared to spread it around appropriately. So here, we should know how to build the trust among employees. Pitching in and helping. The managers can show leadership and build trust by rolling up their sleeves and helping when a deadline is approaching. For example, a willingness to get their hands dirty when circumstances warrant it may help the managers to build trust among employees. Moreover, being consistent because people trust consistency. It lets them to know what to expect. Even when employees disagree with the managers, they appreciate consistent behavior. Finally, being equitable. The managers cannot play favorites and hope to build trust. We know that the employees want to know that they are treated not just well, but also as well as the other's employees. So, the fair and equitable treatment of all the employees will be helping in building trust. Thank you for watching my channel and do not forget to subscribe the channel.